Please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. As we gather to celebrate this Eucharist in honor of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, we also remember the memorial of St. Agatha, who was killed and martyred under Decius the Emperor. She sacrificed her life for the faith that she professed. May we unite our intentions and petitions with that and those of St. Agatha in the sacred heart of Jesus that our God may listen to our pleas and come to our aid. To be worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us ask for mercy and pardon from our God. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and what I've failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, O oh, the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Mother, Saint Agatha, implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray, for she found favor with you by the courage of our martyrdom and the merit of our chastity. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect hospitality, for through it some have unknowingly entertained angels. Be mindful of prisoners as if sharing their imprisonment, and of the ill-treated as of yourselves. For you also are in the body. Let marriage be honored among all, and the marriage bed be kept undefiled. For God will judge the immoral and adulterers. Let your life be free from love of money, but be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never forsake you or abandon you. Thus we may say with confidence, the Lord is my helper and I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? Remember your leaders who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? 
the Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. For he will hide me in his abode in the day of trouble. He will conceal me in the shelter of his tent. He will set me high upon a rock. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Your presence, O Lord, I seek. Hide not your face from me. Do not in anger repel your servant. You are my helper. Cast me not off. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Blessed are they who have kept me, kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. King Herod heard about Jesus, for his fame had become widespread, and people were saying, John the Baptist has been raised from the dead. That's why mighty powers are at work in him. Others were saying, he is Elijah. Still others, he is a prophet like any of the prophets. But when Herod learned of it, he said, It is John whom I beheaded. He has been raised up. Herod was the one who had John arrested, bound in prison, on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, who he had married. John had said to Herod, It is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. Herodias had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. His own daughter came in and performed the dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, Ask for me whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even half of my kingdom. She went out and said to her mother, What shall I ask for? Her mother replied, The head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to king's presence and made a request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, and because of his oath and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in prison. He brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl, in turn, gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, as we celebrate the memorial of St. Agatha, the patron saint 
or victims of rape, breast cancer, patients and the nurses. She was a powerful intercessor for the people suffering from fires. Today we present ourselves as we commemorate also the Sacred Heart of Jesus, that through the intercession of St. Agatha, who was imprisoned by Emperor Decius and her breasts cut out while in prison, she still believed and continued to believe she never gave up. And in that continued journey of faith, even during the painful moment when the breasts were cut off, she had a vision of St. Peter the Apostle who comforted her, consoled her, and healed her. She was to be sent, to be killed, sent to the stake. And when the fire had been lighted, an earthquake occurred, and the people demanded that she be released. However, she was never released. It is said she died in prison. But we learn from her that she voluntarily suffered death rather than to deny our God and our faith. She sacrificed her life for the Lord and for the faith. May we unite our petitions and prayers today together with those of St. Agatha, that we also, we may sacrifice our daily sufferings through the sacred heart of Jesus, that we may be strengthened so that we may be able to say, even amidst challenges and difficulties and pains and sufferings, we may say, the Lord is my helper. I shall not be afraid. What can anyone do to me? I shall not be afraid. He is my helper. He is with me always. He is my light and my salvation. Even in death, I shall resurrect with him. For he is my light and my salvation. That we may not give up. Like John, imprisoned, beheaded for believing in the gospel and spreading the good news of the gospel. Today, as we gather to celebrate the sacred heart of Jesus, we offer ourselves as witnesses of the Most High that we may be strengthened, that we may voluntarily give our lives to the service of God even when we face challenges and threats, that we may live a strong witness to those who may come after us, that we may not kill the messengers of the Lord, but in, instead enhance to spread it. We give thanks to the Lord for the examples of the saints that he gives to us, the examples of the evangelizers, John the Baptist, and the examples of us today, those who are faithful to their prayer schedules, those who are faithful in encountering God in the scriptures, those who are faithful in worshiping in love, that the brotherly love that he has planted in us may not lose its fervor that we may strengthen that bond of love as children of God through baptism. We strengthen each other. We strengthen one another. And by the example of the saints, let us stand for that faith and the gospel of our Lord, that we may not deny him in our lives, neither deny those who bring the message to us. Today, in humility, let us pray for the cancer patients, especially the breast cancer patients, 
we pray for the nurses. We pray those who face threats of fires. And also pray for all those who are suffering for the sake of their faith. And now together, let us bring our petitions to the Lord in the strong faith, in the model of the saints, and the sacred heart of Jesus, that our God may come to our aid. For all members of the church, may God bless us in the service of his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may God grant them fortitude and strength in choosing to promote the dignity of all human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lonely and despairing among us, may they know God's love and consolation in the midst of their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this family of faith, may the Lord develop within us hearts of love and stewardship to draw us ever closer to him. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they soon come before the Lord and rejoice in his eternal presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions that you hold in the silence of our hearts, and for those watching at home, please add your intentions in the comment section. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the special intentions of this Mass, for the repose of the soul of Gisela M. Garcia and Mark Long, may they rest in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Uh, and we pray in a special way with, uh, with the Sacred Heart of Jesus. O Most heart, Holy Heart of Jesus, Fountain, Fountain of, of every, every blessing, blessing. I, I adore, adore you, you, I love you, and with lively sorrow for my sins, I offer, I offer you this poor heart, heart of mine. mine. Make, Make me humble, patient, patient pure, and wholly obedient, obedient to your will. Grant, good, good Jesus, that I may live in you, in you and for you. Protect, protect me in the midst of danger. danger. Comfort me in my afflictions. afflictions. Give me health of body, assistance in my temporal needs, your blessing on all that I do, and the grace of a holy death. Almighty ever living God, these are our petitions. May you grant them through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands. Amen. 
May the offerings we bring in celebration of Saint, Mother, Saint Agatha, Virgin and Martyr, win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of our suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed mother, St. Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so... With the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end, we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. The fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his person, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, O Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that in partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring out the fullness of charity together with friends of our Pope, Gustav, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Together, let us pray to the Father in the words of our Savior taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, allowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptations. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. 
Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. May you offer that peace to one another. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. And now, together with our brothers and sisters unable to receive the body of Christ, let us make a spiritual communion with them. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you, never permit me to be separated from you.
Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, who bestowed on Saint Agatha, Virgin and Mother, a crown among the saints for a twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament, that bravely overcoming every evil we may attain the glory of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Don't go yet. We've also provided for you a take home with you, a litany to the Sacred Heart of Jesus, so you can continue to pray with us this month uh, as we can dedicate our life to the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Tomorrow we have our first Saturday Mass at 9 o'clock in the morning, uh, celebrating the Immaculate Heart of Mary. Uh, we invite you to return with us. Immediately following this Mass, those of you who will be gathering with the Guadalupanos for the Rosary, it will take place in the St. Joseph Room, so those of you from the, uh, with the Guadalupanos, you will exit the church in the back right. Okay, so if you'll wait and let the rest of the congregation assembly depart, and then you guys have uh, plenty of space and time to then go to the St. Joseph's room. We also are preparing for a funeral service today as well. Uh, so we ask that you keep our community in prayer, and we thank you for joining us in our celebration of the Sacred Heart of Jesus this first Friday. God bless you. Thank you. Now you may go in peace, our mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Be to God. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. We are one in the Spirit, we are one in the Lord. And we pray that our unity may one day be restored. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. We will walk with each other, we will walk hand in hand. And together we'll spread the news, God is in our land. And they'll know we are Christians by our love, by our love. Yes, they'll know we are Christians by our love.